What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Trap C, and y'all already know we're here today. I'm going to keep saying and keep saying and keep saying until y'all remember the 11th annual St. Trappers Concert Series here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And listen, today we got another very special guest in the building. My boy came up. He said he performing. I'm excited to see him perform. But y'all know before we get into anything, we got to let him introduce himself to no advisory style. You ready? All right, so here at No Advisor, we just ask you three simple questions, okay? Who you are, where you from, and what the fuck you do. All right, did that. So I go by the name King K. It's K-I-N-G, say it while four on platforms. I'm from Indian Chair, North Carolina. It's like about 20 minutes from Charlotte. And shit, I just make that trap music. I just make that shit to turn you up, get you in that mode, man. Just get, that, get to that money, bro. So, what brought you out today to the to the event? I know you're performing, but let me specify that. What like, how did you know about the event? I guess is the better question to get you br to bring you out today. So basically, I had tapped in with uh, Fire MCs. I know they be doing a lot of uh, a lot of stuff at Audio Box too. I went to that last event. So basically, I seen the St. Trappers Day, and I know it was a move today. So I had to uh, make sure cause everybody popping up and shit. So I had to make sure I got my name known. And everybody know how the hell we rocking for me. Facts. One thing about it, if you're an artist, you should always be networking, okay? Networking is key. So for the people who may be unfamiliar with you, can you kind of give us a little bit of insight into your background of how you got into the music scene? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I've always been into the music, like freestyling, like through uh, middle school, high school, stuff like that. But basically, um, shout out to Unknown and Dirty Rooms. Basically, they got a studio down in Indian Trail. And basically, we all be working together like throughout the past years, just uh, evolving and getting better and stuff like that. So basically, like since 2018, I've been making the music, and then ever since then, every song I drop keep getting better. To now, where I'm trying to pop out and start networking and like uh, showing everybody like how we get down. Feel me? So I gotta ask this: Do you remember the first song you ever wrote? Yeah, yeah. So basically, actually. Off the top of my head, yeah, yeah. So basically, my first song was uh was a dip remix to that Tisa Korea uh, music, but um basically like looking back on it, like that was my first song, my first video. But when I look back on it, I'm like, damn, flow was off. Like I wasn't really that confident because my first song. So like I said, like every song I've been dropping since then, it's getting better and better type shit, and just uh keep working and shit. Cause now my shit sounded like how I want, you know what I'm saying? So like now we're gonna make a move with it. So you actually answered my follow-up question, at, which was going to be, can you tell the difference between the first song you wrote and the music that you make today? But I do have another question for you. With the current state of hip-hop right now, and everybody, you know, a lot of artists going viral off TikTok songs, where do you feel like you fit in as an artist in the scene? Yeah. So I definitely, I definitely see the TikTok waves and the IG waves, like people going viral off of the little bouncy music and shit. But um, when my type of music is kind of like, I vary throughout like the slow songs and through the hype shit, but I definitely feel like my, my lane is that hype shit. It's like when you ride down the highway, you had a little party or something, like that's gonna be the shit they play to get everybody in that mode, feel me? So I definitely see some shit I got uh, going viral on TikTok, everybody get turned dancing and shit, but it's just about pushing on my music and like getting on all platforms and shit. And my next question for you is, what sets you apart from other artists? Because there are thousands of new songs that come out every day, thousands of artists that pop up every day. What sets you apart from other artists that are also trying to achieve the same goal? Yeah, hell yeah. Um, honestly, like like you said, like everybody come out with their own uh, genres and, and like type of songs and shit. But with me, it's just like, I'm just on that like, no cap shit, like just real life shit, making money, like stay up out of the way, handle your business type shit. So it's like, not no bullshit, I'm pushing straight, like positive, get money music, like, and shit, we just having a good ass time for like some awesome genuine shit, you know what I'm saying? So what can we expect from you in 2024? So actually like the, uh, this Friday, I'm gonna drop a single called uh, Profits. So basically I got Profits coming out and my birthday uh, next month, April 28th. So I'm finna drop another song for that shit too. But um, the past stuff I dropped was um, Chosen. I got a video for that. And then I got an EP called The Truth. And that shit going on iTunes and everything right now. So, hey, we just gonna keep pushing that shit and we gonna get that traction for it. All right, so this is gonna be my last question for you. Name your top three artists of all time. Shit. 
all time is kind of tough because I fuck with the old heads. Like when I first heard music, it was like Tupac and Biggie and shit. But um, all time like coming up, I gotta say it's for sure uh, Young Thug. I like G Herbo, and it's tough because I, I always fucked with Kodak, but. Future always been my, my top dog too, like the Atlanta shit, the Future and Young Thug. I'm gonna go with Future though. But hey, Kodak close second though. I mean close third though, for real. Hey, I like that line though. Shout out to Future, shout out Herbo. And shout out Thug. Shout out Thug. Free Thug, that man about to get out. That court case is a mess. That's besides, that y'all got to know about we gonna talk about that. So go ahead and tell the people where they can find you on social media and where they can stream your music. All right, bet. so. At all platforms, social media is going to be at King K, K I N G C A Y 4. And then on uh, just on iTunes, uh, Spotify, all of that, it's going to be King K, K I N G C A Y. So, you know what I'm saying? Just search it up, tap into the movement, and you're going to rock with it. For sure. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Definitely looking forward to your performance a little later. But listen, it's your girl, Trap C, and we're about to go check out some of these vibes. All right. We out. Peace.